Hello mga kachikadora! Nandito na naman tayo sa bagong video na ating tatalakayin. Um, this is regarding 20 peso challenge. So, we are going to discuss what the 20 peso challenge is about. So, what you can see here is I already did um, a tracker regarding my daily savings which is uh, 20 pesos per day so nakikita nyo naman dito sa january column uh, nandito ngayon yung um, january i mean yung uh, day uh, date at saka yung amount ng savings natin per day so uh, i started january 1 which is 20 pesos so naka save tayo ngayon so far um as of the moment, 340 pesos. So, dated January 17, which is yesterday. Today is January 18, so um, I haven't tracked the following days because, of course, it's gonna be on a real-time basis. Now, um, what I'm going to discuss you is how to uh, create a 20 peso challenge budget, or not a budget, sorry, a 20 peso peso challenge savings tracker um, through Excel all right so here we go so I'm going to create a new sheet here sa Excel so nakikita nyo naman so um, dito sa column B I'm gonna create let's see let's um, leave that space eto muna leave natin yung space na to yung tatlo so here's a fourth row uh, let me create let me put the date no the the days pala sorry so yung araw nag start tayo ng sunday so let's put that sunday ganyan tapos iano lang natin Ganyan muna natin. Ayusin natin mamaya. And then, kailan nag-start yung January? Anong araw? Wednesday, di ba? So, we're gonna put the date here sa tabi ng Wednesday. Okay? So, it should be January 1st, 2020. Just hit enter. Okay? So, nag-generate na siya. So, ngayon, pag nag and drop mo yan, magiging ganyan yung itsura niya. So, ang gusto ko kasing format is January, mauna yung month, which is eto, tapos yung date, tapos yung year. Ang nangyari ngayon, nung dirinag ko siya, um, nauna yung days. Alright? Instead of the month. So, I'm gonna delete this too. So, I'm gonna format this muna. Um, we're we go to formulas. Oh, no, no, no. We go here, pala, sa date. Alright, and then click on this one. Or, you can just create on more number format. Click natin yan. Ayun. So, makikita natin yung format ng date. So, ito yung gusto kong mayari yan. Ganyan siya. Ganyan yung format. So, click lang natin yan. And okay. So, pag nag drop mo na yan, so, sunod na yun. Oh, diba? Kaloka. So, ilang days meron ang January 2020? 31. So, drag in. Okay, drag lang natin yan. Okay. Hanggang 31. Yan, yan, yan. 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 Alright. And then, eto din. Drag din natin. Hanggang tumama doon. Ayun. Okay. So, this is the day. Um, you can also put here days. Alright, ganyan. Tapos dito naman, date. Diba? Para mas organize tayo. And dito yung amount. Yung amount ng saving natin per day, which is 20 pesos. Now, I'm gonna put here 20 pesos kasi 20 pesos naman na yung na earn natin that day. So, ang format nito is 20.00 just hit enter. So, magiging 
by default magiging ganyan siya. So, babalik ulit tayo doon sa format. So, click that and then more number formats. Go to currency. There you go. So, just click here. Yan yun. Yan, yan, yan. Nakikita nyo yung barang red dyan. Yan yung positive ba? Huwag yung negative. Ito siya. Okay? So, yan. Automatic na siya, di ba? Now, ang date ngayon is 18, January 18. So, na-save natin is January 17. So, hanggang January 17 muna tayo. Okay? So, i-drag-drag ko lang to pag ganyan. Pag drag ko yan, pareho yung amount, di ba? So, ngayon, ang gagawin ko, um, i-format ko muna to. Go to, ang gagawin natin, pag less than or less than or equal to 19 pesos magre-red siya. Okay? Kasi ang target natin for this 20 pesos eh. Hindi naman natin tina-target 19 pesos and below. It should be 20 pesos. So, pag nag-red yan, ibig sabihin, um, below the target tayo. Okay? So, let's go to conditional formatting. And then, go to highlights. Okay, click mo lang yan. For now, click muna natin to. Ganyan muna. Greater than yung nakalagay, diba? Pero, ibabaguhin natin mamaya. Gagawin natin yung, ano, great, uh, less than or equal. To. Oh, no, no, no. Um, let's cancel this. Nagkamali ako. So, punta tayo sa condition formatting again. And then, highlight cells rules. Go to less than. Kame, kame. Okay? Or, you can do also this one. Okay. More rules. Right? Meron dyan makikita mo. Less than or equal to. Dito na lang tayo para mas, um, ano, mas accurate. Okay? So, you can type there 19.00. Right? Pero mas gusto ko kasi yun eh. Yung way na yun. Yung other way. So, ganyan. So, punta tayo ng less than. Uh, depende naman sa inyo kung ano. Pero ito lang kasi yung preferred ko. So, ito yung amount. Yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, so 19 pesos pababa. Mag-re-red siya, di ba? Okay. 19 pesos pababa. Or less than or equal to. Um, now, mag-re-red siya. So, dito, pipiliin nyo red text or light red. Light red fill with dark red text lang tayo. So, click on OK. So, wala pa, hindi pa gumagalaw kasi, di ba? Hindi pa naman natin siya. Uh, baguhin natin ang amount. Kunwari, 19. Tingnan na, wala pa, di ba? So, ang mangyayari ngayon, go back to conditional formatting and manage rules. Okay? So, ngayon, double-click natin yan. Tapos, dito sa, <coughs> dito sa option na to, click natin, then select less than or equal to. Click OK. Apply. Okay. So, ganun lang siya. Ganun siyang kadali, di ba? nag na siya. Now, pag ano natin, pag change mo into 20 pesos, wala siyang any bearing, right? Hindi nagbabago yung kulay. So, ang mangyayari niyan, balik natin sa 19. Okay, mangyayari, click ulit yung column, uh, yung row na yan. Go to conditional formatting. Same doon sa ginawa natin sa less than or equal to. Uh, gagawin naman natin greater than or equal to. So, ang mangyayari ngayon, pag 20 pesos siya pataas, okay? Magi-green siya kasi nasa target tayo. Alright, so go to highlight cells rules, click on greater than, and then change this to 20 pesos. Okay, so dun sa kulay, gagawin natin green with fill dark green tax. Okay, click OK. And then, click natin kung may nagbago. Wala pa, ba? Sabi ko sa inyo eh. Kasi, kailangan natin bumalik, conditional formatting, and then, go to manage rules. Nandun na siya. Yung green na to. O, nakikita nyo. Double click nyo yan. Tapos, change nyo ulit to. Okay. Yung cell na to. So, it should be greater than or equal to 20 pesos. Which, okay mo lang yan. And then, apply. Okay. Tapos, pag chinese na natin yung amount, 20 pesos. Ayun! Nag-green na siya. So, and so on and so forth. 30 pesos. Let's say, 100. Okay. 1 million. Charot! 
<laughs> diba ganyan o oh, diba so ayan 20 pesos siya nag green na siya now ginawa natin 19 red ginawa natin 10 pesos red 5 pesos 2 pesos red diba so ayan balik natin 20 pesos now it drag in ano ko lang to hanggang 7 kasi yun naman na yung naipo natin now, um, dito, ikakopy ko lang to, yung format na yun. Copy mo lang yan, kasi 18 pa naman ngayon. Wala pa akong naiambag sa economy niya. Change mo lang yan to 0 pesos. Kasi wala ka pa namang, ano eh, um, savings that day. Ganyan lang siya. Tapos, babaguhin mo na lang yung date, ay yung amount pagkarating mo sa araw na iba, at the end of the day kasi at the end of the day ko ginagawa yung ano yung tracking eh ganyan pwede mo ring gawin yun on a weekly basis ba so ipunin mo lang yung 20 pesos mo on a weekly basis kung tinatamad ka edi gawin mo uh, per per week ba kung talagang per siguro ka naman saka masipag ka araw-araw di gawin mo at the end of the day ba so, ganun lang siya kadali, guys. So, ang uh, gagawin natin, syempre, pagandahin naman natin ito ng konti. Wait lang. Uh, maglalagay tayo ng ano dito? Border. So, go to borders and then click on tick outside borders para ito yung mag ano, mas tick yung outside. Now, no, no, no. Let's go back. Sorry. Go back. Or you can do it this way first. Just to highlight that, go to borders and all borders. Now, naka-highlight pa yan, ba? So, ayan mo lang siya, then go to tick outside borders. So, ganyan mo siya. And then, you can just highlight these three. Kunwari, kulayan mo yun ng blue. Tapos, eto naman, yellow. Or, pwede ring blue. Same. Tapos, eto gawin mong yellow. O, oh, ba? bongga. Ayan na siya. Ayan na yun. So, pangalanan mo dyan ng ano, emerge cell mo yan. O, oh, ito yung para sa January ko. Ganyan, ganyan. O, oh, ayan o. Oh. Hmm. So, ano mo ulit. Lagyan mo ng border. O, oh, ayan o. Oh. January highlight natin ulit. Lagyan natin na kunwari. Pink. Wala bang pink dyan? Kaloka kayo. So, kunwari ito lang. Basic colors lang tayo. Green. Ayan. Sige na nga, yellow na nga. Ayan. So, ayun na. Ayun na yung tracker natin. Tapos, pagdating ng February naman, next month, i-highlight mo lang to, Copy-paste mo lang. Ganyan. Alright. Copy-paste mo lang. Tapos, paste mo. Then, edit-edit mo na lang yung days. ba? Napakadali. February. Ganyan February. Ganyan. Oh. Ayusin natin. Hmm. So, ayun. Kailan ba nag-start yung Feb? Saturday. So, edit mo yan. Gawin mong one yan. Gawin mong ganun. So, napakadali lang. So, eto na nga guys yung ano natin. So, tracker natin. So, guys. Eto na nga yung tracker natin. Na ginawa. So, eto yung sample na ginawa ko ngayon. Tapos, eto yung actual na um, tracker ko talaga. So, I hope you guys enjoy and do this do this also so that you can have your savings at the end of the year. And then, um, i-ano na lang natin. It's a track uh, at saka isa-summarize lang natin by the end of the year. So, imagine pag naka ano tayo, let's say calculator. Pag naka 20 pesos per day tayo in 366 days. Kasi leap year ngayon, di ba? So, 366 days tayo ngayon, 2020. Times, multiply mo to 20 pesos. Which is mga ka 7,320 tayo. Pag dinagdagan mo naman yung savings mo per day. Let's say, for example, uh, pwede mo na gawing 50 pesos per day. Diba? Times natin yan to 
366 which is 18,300 malaking bagay yun so depende kung magkano yung ilalagay nyo per day okay um, depende sa inyo yon. basta wag lang kayong mag below the target which is 20 pesos okay para may maipon tayo on you know on I mean by the end of the year okay Thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, don't forget to subscribe and, um, you know, click the notification bell na rin para ma-notify kayo every time na mag-upload ako ng bagong video. So, wag yung kakalimutan mag-subscribe mga Chikadora. Till next time. Bye!